The exhibition looks at uh, what happened to the Irish soldier in 1914 and 1915. It's covering two uh, exhibition rooms. Uh, in the first room we look at 1914, the events uh, from August to December, and specifically what happened to the Irish soldiers, uh, particularly for the Monster Fusiliers at True, but also uh, right up into Christmas. Large numbers of Irish soldiers uh, joined up uh, and also were part of the regular British Army at the time, about 70,000, um, so it was a very busy period. In the second room, at the end, focus very much on the history of the barracks, uh, what happened here in 1915, the soldiers that trained here in 1915, um, and then what happened to them later on when they went to Gallipoli uh, as part of the 10th Division. Uh, altogether, we have 21 separate stories uh, talking about the Irish men. One final part uh, of the exhibition then is uh, the sinking of the Lusitania. Uh, in May 1915, the uh, liner Lusitania, en route from New York to Europe, was sunk just off Kinsale. Sacked 18 minutes with the death of over 1,200 uh, 1, uh, uh, passengers. Uh, it was a huge shock to uh, uh, Europeans and to Americans in particular because it was the first uh, liner to be sunk by a German submarine. Initial response to gas attacks in 1915 it's a pad placed over the mouth, um, simply covered in, in the chemicals to react against the, the gas attack, and then goggles to protect the eyes uh, so you can still function in the trenches. As the year develops, um, hoods are created where you can put on a hood to protect yourself from the, glass, from the gas. And later on, an early uh, breathing apparatus and uh, better goggles are placed in. Um, and this one is in use for about a year. But then in 1916, the, the proper uh, gas mask, which we probably associate today with a gas mask, consists of uh, a hood with goggles to go on top of your head, a pipe then that goes into a canister, and it's actually the canister that's uh, taking the poisonous gas out of the air and allowing you allowing to breathe. And it contains a series of filters and will last for a couple of hours and allows you to fight. And this is the, the new reality for both sides as they both quickly start using gas against each other quite a lot. Um, and uh, every soldier had to have one of these. Uh, it was an offence not to have one if you're near, anywhere near the front lines. Um, of course, the, the long-term effect for the gas attack sometimes could be in the 20s and 1930s because the damage to the lungs uh, was progressive. Um, so although you may have survived the initial attack, it could be 20, 30 years later and people were dying from lung-related diseases. So the gas mask is simply put over your head, fit the goggles around the eyes, and then you're able to breathe through this. <laughs> 